Today I want to talk to you guys about how a two-stroke engine works. Here on this little Chinese 48cc bike motor I got, this one we got from the, the little local store over here in Tempe, right, a couple of three weeks ago now. All right, I'm going to demonstrate here. This is the carburetor for the intake. This is the exhaust pipe for the exhaust coming out. This is the cylinder. This is where all the action happens is right in here. But anyways, but this is how it works. The fuel mix runs in down through here, right, as the, crank, as the crankshaft spins, Right, it's, it, it sucks. It sucks the air fuel mixture in, creating the backing. It sucks it in down here. It all the oil and the gas mixes in the bottom of the crankcase, and then as the, as the piston rises up, it slides open this little valve on the side on the inside. It's either a side valve, or sometimes there's a poppet valve in the bottom. As the vacuum comes by, as the crank goes by, the vacuum opens a little poppet valve, and the intake comes in. Right, as the piston goes up, it's compressing the next. It's compressing the side stroke ahead of it. As the piston goes up, it fires, bang, when it pushes it back down, it pushes the exhaust out the exhaust port. comes out this way, right? So it, the thing fires every time around. Uh, now, these little motors right here tend to be a little bit more unreliable, they say, because of the way that they operate. You know what I'm um, but the thing about a two-stroke motor over a four-stroke is that because it fires on every stroke, it creates more power for its little tiny displacement. It's the same equivalent four-stroke motor probably runs better, gets better gas mileage, is a lot more efficient than these. These things are, are historically way woefully inefficient, but this is what we have. You understand? But overall, it puts out a bit more power. You understand? I'm not saying that this is the perfect motor for every application, but in this in this instance, this motorized bicycle motor, they work pretty good. The whole thing about this is is that as when it fires at the top and, it's, and it's, the piston is being pushed down, the scavenging effect from the exhaust has a tendency to suck the, some of the air fuel mixture in through the hole, and that's why we end up with a little spot down on the bottom where it smokes too much or this or that, whatever. You have to you know, keep track of your premix ratio. I'm running this one at 32 to 1. You know what I'm it runs pretty good. It doesn't smoke overall, but it still drips a little bit of oil. Right? Overall, though, two-stroke bicycle engine. This is how it works. Thank you.